Good morning, folks. We open today with a TRMM simulated flyby of Tropical Storm Ingrid in the Gulf. Derived from water vapor and rainfall, the storm indeed spans the Gulf, Caribbean, and across Mexico. It's even difficult to distinguish the boundary between it and newly formed Tropical Storm Manuel off the other coast of Mexico. Something important to keep in mind, for over two weeks we've noted how much the forecast tracks for development in the eastern Pacific and the Gulf don't look too far off from the direction of moisture coming off the two. Been heading north for days and days from storm after storm, and literally, it's those tropical storms that's causing the flooding out in the western states. Umberto, what the heck are you doing out there? You going to Europe? Despite all the proceeding, I am most worried about Japan today. The storm will not miss and is quite powerful. Not far west of that, Shanghai had to shut down its metro in a red alert storm. That's their highest alert in the first of 2013. Sticking here for a Sakurajima update, they've just broken their ash eruption height record, washing dust off their local towns. Meanwhile, they're being straight abandoned near the Ubinas volcano in Peru where a state of emergency was declared. Gas masks are now required nearby and the waterways have been acidified to poison. An oil spill is expected to kill thousands of fish in Hawaii, and unfortunately the same is likely true of a spill in New Jersey. Folks, if you didn't catch the afternoon update yesterday, this is one awesome article, Gears of Nature. They're used to synchronize back leg lift off jumps for certain insects. They were able to film it in motion actually. Today's top news story comes from Hubble, and yes, it's pretty. Yes, the universe is fantastic, but this article makes a leap forward to make determinations about dark matter. Those alleged gravitational scaffolding upon which galaxies are constructed and which this electric universe community is still waiting to be recognized as purely electromagnetic and far less exotic than their math and imagination requires. Words of encouragement for our star. Come on, buddy. No sunspot threats, development, or flaring to speak of. We're still near A range. Pretty sad. The solar wind speed is rising to continue our moderate coronal hole stream, but density falling away means the geomagnetic disturbance is over for now. Can you guys spot Mercury? He's trying to hide his magnetic connection as we expect him to come further onto Earth-facing position in the weeks ahead, while Mars should continue across the backside and eventually emerge on the right by early 2014. We have no current proximity warnings. Folks, the current coronal holes are actually gaining power. The earth-facing bunch is still relatively weak to moderate and has matched the complete lull in quakes, but now the energy is juicing back up. That central hole is one of the weak ones, so we'll have to wait. The incomers down south are somewhat difficult to see. For more specifics, check the Carrington rotation maps on Gong, the ones with the blue umbral fields I show, and keep an eye on these filaments. Just because we don't have any solar flares doesn't mean our star has stopped erupting plasma into space. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.